Hello and welcome on Watchers TV and we are by Quorum with my good friend Mark and you're going to talk about the concept watch and it's been quite a while that uh, Quorum didn't come with such kind of a timepiece and what does it mean what are you what direction are you going with this so first of all, thank you for coming. Always a pleasure to have you here in La Maison de l'Horlogerie, where we take place uh, during the Geneva Watch Days. You're right, we are introducing this uh, fantastic concept watch. Uh, two years of development just to show a bit uh, the futures of the brand. All right. And uh, so what uh, were the main directions that you followed? So basically, this product is very exceptional because it's really a legitimacy in watch design. The design is really unique. You have kind of a flying tourbillon, but also all the wheels of the movement are flying on top of an aventurine dial with relo below the movement, which is made on sapphire. Also, we use a lot of uh, recycled materials like titanium grade five, recycled fabric straps, which is also recycled, and even some part of the movement come from our old stocks, which is something uh, very unique, I think, in the watchmaking industry. And so what was basically the idea behind this piece? It's also to show a bit the future direction of Corum. Uh, in terms of design, for example, in terms of materials, I'm thinking about stone dyes like Aventurine, Malachite, that will probably come later on in the collection. Also in terms of design, design codes and many other parts that we will try to uh, use in the futures of the brand. Also, it's a kind of repositioning of the brand because we are not gonna produce huge quantities, which will also help us to do something very avant-garde, different and unique, as we are not to seduce a thousand of consumer. So what led you to switch a little bit uh, this, uh, this route? So basically, Corum since 1955 is all about creativity and boldness. So we will go back to the roots and we will play much more with the creativity and boldness. But you will keep your um, existing collections? Yes, which are going to evolve. But when you are speaking about existing collection for Corum, you have so many collections yeah, through time <laughs> that yeah. we are probably not going to introduce a lot of novelties, but we are going to play a lot with what is already existing, like the Admiral, the Bubble, the Golden Bridge. We have the coin. We have so many things to, to share with uh, watch lovers that will be fantastic. And your customers, they understand a little bit this switch? We will see after the presentation <laughs> of this concept, but this is the way it is. And uh, we hopefully, Corum will love it or hate it, but I think very few will be in the middle. Well, it's true. I mean, Corum, I mean, historically has been quite antagonizing. I mean, the, some people really liked it. Some people didn't understand too much because it was going in so many directions. So you're just keeping a little bit in that, uh, in that sense. You, you mean going everywhere? No, no, we know where we want to go, but I think really our DNA is creativity, design, boldness, and we will play around that. Yeah, but really had kind of collections that had nothing to do from one, from one to the other. I mean, it was uh, always really very distinct. I mean, you're talking about the bubble and you put the Ameri America's, uh, um, Admiral's Cup next to it or uh, the Golden Bridge. I mean, this is total different universe. Yes, we are very lucky to be able to play in different universe. And uh, we take that as an advantage uh, compared to few other brands which are more mono product. We can play with different product in different kind of universe. So that is fantastic. Great. Well, thank you very much and good luck to you. Thank you. Bye, guys.